Moving on from if statements, we're now going to look at the switch statement and we'll look at the syntax and how this is used. Now, this is um, similar to an if statement in the sense that it will work in exactly the same way. We can pass in a value and check this against uh, other values. But there are fundamental differences really because um, the way it's laid out makes it more appropriate for different types of uh, checking. So for example, in the previous video, we looked at if statements, um, switch statements in that case would not be appropriate. However, if we have perhaps a couple of actions that we know that we want to look out for, a couple of values that we know we want to look out for, the switch statement can work with us uh, nicely. So let's go ahead and just create a little example application and this will involve taking a name. It will be taking, um, do we want this name to be uppercase or lowercase? And then we're going to use a switch statement to determine which one that we want to do. So do we want to convert this name to all uppercase characters or all lowercase characters? And what we're then going to do is by default just return the uh, name as it's provided. So we're going to use a couple of functions now as well that, that are uh, available to us in PHP. So let's go ahead and define a name. So I'm just going to put Alex and I'm going to say action equals either upper or lower. So this could be upper or lower. That's basically how it could look. So instead of doing an if statement, if action equals upper, what we're going to do is we're going to use a switch because this makes it a little easier to work out what's going on. So a switch looks like this, we use the switch keyword, we use uh, brackets to basically pass in which variable that we want to switch. So we, we want to switch action because we want to determine whether action is upper or whether action is lower. And you'll also notice that this makes it really easy to read the way that we're going to lay uh, lay this out. So we have different cases. So uh, we have a case with a, uh, a potential value. So in this case, we want to say case something. So in this case, it will be upper. Then we want to come down a couple of lines after we use a colon here, not a semicolon, and we want to break. So this is really the same as if action equals upper, whereas this is the case and this is the break. But obviously it's not an if statement and um, we use this because it looks a little neater. So in this case what we want to do is we want to say well what do we want to do in case upper? We want to go ahead and set name equal to str2 upper which is a PHP function name. Now we come down to the, uh, the line after the last break and we say case lower and then we break again and we do exactly the same thing here, whereas we take the name and we say uh, name equals str2 lower. Now we can have a default, so we could say something like uh, default and then break. In actual fact, what we'll do is we will create a new variable um, called name changed, and that's going to be uh, just an empty string. So in this case, we'll say name changed equals str to lower, name changed equals str to upper, and by default what we want to do is we want to say name changed equals just the name, so we're not doing anything. So now what we're going to say is we're going to say echo name changed. So what's going to happen here is, we well, as we scan down we can see that we either take a case of upper or lower, and by default we don't do anything, so we can clearly see what we're doing here. So what we can do is we'll say action equals upper for now. When we go ahead and refresh our page, you see that we get an uppercase version of our name. Whereas if we change this to lower, when we hit the switch, we'll take the action. It will see that the case is lower and we'll say, um, well, it will see that the, uh, the value of this variable is lower. And then it will basically uh, set the strings um, case to lowercase. So there we go. We see Alex. Um, and then obviously by default, if we don't provide anything, um, so if this is just an empty string, for example, or it's something other than upper or lower, then we just get the original value back for the name. So as you can see, this is a little bit of a nicer way to lay out an if statement. If you find if statements are not required, then a switch might be what you need to just a bit more effectively uh, lay out the logic of, of checking whatever you need to check.